John Fitch here, and I got another Fitch build for you. All right, guys, we're going to talk about spinning plates today. Splitting plates. Uh, this isn't something I'm doing now because I've been in a community relationship for a little while, but I found this community relationship through spinning plates. This uh, isn't something that I always did. When I was younger, I was conditioned into believing that dating more than one woman at a time was wrong, immoral. It was too hard. It was too difficult. It had all these things placed upon me that I just kind of accepted without any actual experience. And that happens a lot. It happens a lot in dating. Men who have no experience just assume things that they've been told are true. And if you're not aware of what spinning plates is, it's, it, it's the idea of, um, you know, the guy at the circus who has the sticks with the plates spinning on them. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep them balanced and keep them, keep them up. Every once in a while, a plate may fall off, but you got another one to keep going. You keep getting a, a new one. If one falls off, you keep getting a new one. Now, this sounds like a lot of work. It sounds like too much. And there is a little bit of, uh, you know, negative thinking towards it, uh, that you're womanizing, that you are uh, manipulative, and that really you should be putting all your time and energy into one woman that you're dating. You should be lucky to have even that one woman that you're dating interested in you. And you should be giving full attention to that one before you move on or commit to that girl or whatever. The truth is, though, the truth is, and this is the ugly truth, is that spinning plates, that's what women have been doing for a very long time. Women will talk to multiple men at the same time. They'll call them friends. We often refer to them as kind of orbiters, guys who want to date them, guys who want to have sex with them. These women will talk to these guys, will have these guys around. The guys are interested in them romantically. They will extract resources from those guys and might not even have sex with them. Sometimes they might, who knows? Different women, different behaviors. But a lot of women will have this way of keeping their options open. Oh, well, he's just a friend. He's just a friend. They'll hang out with them. They'll go places with them, spend time with them. It doesn't have to be a physical thing. They are still getting time, energy, money from the situation, but may not be giving up the sex. But it's the same thing. Just because you're spinning plates doesn't necessarily mean you're having sex with all the women either. The point of spinning plates is to find the best match for you. If you're a person who's looking for a long-term relationship, I, I like long-term relationships. I like kids. I like being a family man. That's what I'm looking for. I would like to have an, one woman who caters to all my needs and uh, I have children with. That's, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. You can do what you want. It's up to you, but it will benefit you to spin plates. When you first start dating, and you're just getting to know somebody like you don't you don't know anything about them you don't really know if you like them you you may think they're attractive but you don't know if they're a good person you don't know if they're a serial killer <laughs> you don't know if uh they torture animals you, you really have no idea so for you to commit too much to that person too early could be a very big mistake you could also run the risk of developing one-itis with that somebody and that one-itis is when you have an image of what that perfect person in your, in your life is going to be. And you finally meet somebody who gives you attention and you try to block all the stuff that doesn't fit what you want. And you pretend that that person is everything and the, they try to make things fit. And you end up just smashing yourself up against the wall because it's not a good fit and you really should be moving on, but you're trying to force this relationship. So it's important that you take things slow and you spin plates, date, one woman once a week for a little while get to know her see how things go as things move forward maybe she's a good match maybe she's not but don't leave yourself with only talking to one girl it'll make you seem a little bit more needy and you'll tolerate too much nonsense because if it's the only access you have to a woman <laughs> you may be afraid to lose that access and you'll put up with bad behavior and that's not a good thing to do. Your job through spinning plates is to find a good match, a good match for you. If you wanna have a bunch of girlfriends, then find a bunch of good matches, but you still need to spin the plates to find out what you like. You need to learn what you like in a relationship, what you don't like in a relationship. The only way to do that is to talk to a bunch of girls, talk to a bunch of different women. If you're only talking to one, you may not know whether or not there's a better one out there. Going through the process of spinning plates and dating a lot of different women will give you a much better perspective on what you want, who you want, what type of behavior you want, what type of life you want, 
but you won't get that if you're just committing to the first girl who gives you attention. You spin the plates, you find compliant girls, you find girls who fall into your frame, they make you happy, they do great things for you, then you can commit. Then you can commit. And they'll be the one who pushes the commitment. They'll be the one who comes to you and is like, hey, I need this and this. And it'll be your decision to send them on their way or to, uh, to agree to only date them because they're giving you what you want. It's not because you're forced into it because you're afraid to lose access to having sex. It's because you actually like this person. This person benefits you. This person ups your life and makes it better. If you don't have the experience of dating multiple women, if you haven't had a lot of chances to meet different women and see how their behavior is, you're, you're not going to be good in a relationship because relationships are on hard mode. And that's the other thing. A lot of inexperienced men, and I was one of these guys a long time ago, will think that it's way too much work to talk to more than one woman at a time. That dating more than one woman at one time is going to be too much effort. I don't have the time for that. I don't have the uh, wherewithal to stand all the shit tests that are going to take place. And the truth is, once you have the experience of doing that, it's actually way easier. It's so much easier. It's so much easier to, to, to spin multiple plates than it is to date one woman. When you find that good woman, life's awesome, life's good, but it's still way easier because you still have things you have to deal with. You still have to deal with you know, emotions and, and, and money and kids and all this other stuff that is real life stuff. When you're just dating casually, you don't get pulled into a lot of that stuff. You don't get pulled out of that stressors. You don't have a lot of those things happen to you. If you're just dating and one of your plates isn't acting appropriately the way that you want your significant other to act, you take your attention away. You take your attention to another plate who actually gives you the feedback, gives you the life, gives you the reactions, falls into your frame, and makes you happy. That person deserves your attention. If you're looking for a long term, that's how you're going to find the best possible long term relationship for yourself. So guys, if you've never dated multiple women before, if you've never spun plates before, I suggest trying it. If you're a younger guy, if you're in your early 20s and stuff, it's important that you date a lot of women so you know what you like. You may not understand what you like yet. You need to get good at dating. You need to get good at telling whether or not a woman generally desires you, wants to spend time with you. And you're not going to do that without experience. You can't do it without experience. The only way you're going to get experience with that is through spinning plates, talking to as many women as you can, right? Don't feel bad about it. Women do the same thing. You're just behaving the same way that a woman does with, with dating. You have to weigh your options. You have to see what's best for you, what fits into your life. It's not going to come easy. If you, if you go too quickly, you pull the trigger too fast, there's a good chance you end up in a bad situation. You do not want to get the wrong person pregnant. You do not want to get married to the wrong person. You do not want to get into a bad relationship that ends up draining your resources and your sanity, right? It's not, not good. It's not a difficult thing to do. If you can get a date with one girl, you can get a date with multiple girls. Spin plates. It will help you find the relationship you're wanting. Christian zealots or whatever religious zealots may be mad about this, but you don't, you don't necessarily have to have sex with all of them. If you want to be a religious person, a Muslim, Christian, Catholic, Jewish, whatever, and you want to have a low body count yourself and save yourself more for that perfect person, it's on you, fine, but you still need to get the experience of dating. You still need to go out with these dates. You still need to get used to being able to draw out that desire from the other person. You need to be able to uh, have that sexual conflict, that sexual tension between people. If you can't, you're just an object in the room. You're not drawing attention. They're not going to desire you. And you're, you, you're probably not a natural. Some guys are naturals and they get it right away. You're going to need some practice. And you need to talk to a lot of different women, spend time with a lot of different women to get that practice. It's the only way to do it. So when you get good at it, you start recognizing the good behaviors. You start recognizing the red flags. You start recognizing the green flags. Then you're going to be in a position where you're like, hey, now I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to be with somebody long term. I'm going to find that person and you'll be ready for it. And your, your dating life will be so much better, so much more rewarding, so much more happy. I have used the strategies myself 
to find a great relationship. I've been in it for a couple years. She's actually been living with me for a year. We're good. We're good. I'm happy. Things are great. It helps. It helps. I don't think I ever would have found the, the girl I did if I wouldn't have been open to spinning plates. If I would have just continued what I did before I was married and just, I'm going to date this one girl and focus on this one girl and see how it goes. And then I'll change my focus to somebody else if it doesn't work out. You end up getting dragged into this unsatisfactory relationship that lasts way too long. Spend three, four months talking to somebody and nothing really good becomes of it. Or worse, you get them pregnant or something and then now you're stuck with them your whole life and they were a, a hot mess the whole time. Not a good, not a good situation. Well, that's all guys, that's all I got. Spinning plates is not immoral, it's not wrong. You're not a liar. You're at the beginning of a relationship. You're not exclusive with your, your girl. It's not an exclusive relationship. I don't suggest lying about that at any point. Be open and honest. Be like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm looking, but I'm not, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready for a long term. I'm not ready for committing myself to one person yet. And if they're, they're not okay with waiting, they're not okay with waiting. And you have to be okay with that. So don't, don't just uh, throw the idea of dating multiple people at the same time out the window because you were told that it was wrong or too hard to do, it's actually not. And it's going to give you skills that will help you be better at finding somebody you want long-term. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and uh, check the links in the description below. I got my practical self-defense course out. You can check that out. Along with my fitness programs, this summertime's right around the corner. It's time to start getting jacked, guys. Jacked and tan is the way to go. Thanks for watching, and check you guys out. Thank you.